For today's lesson, we will be discussing about angles. So we will discuss angles in standard position and also coterminal angles. So let's start with recalling the definition of angles. So as what we know, angles is formed by two rays sharing a common endpoint called the vertex. So for example, we have here, this is one ray and then this is the other one so they have the common endpoint which is this point right here and again we refer to it as the vertex so again this one is the angle an angle is in standard position if it is drawn in the xy plane or also known as the coordinate plane or cartesian plane with its vertex at the origin and its initial side on the positive x-axis so there is what we call as standard position and angles and with this one we have to consider where is the initial side of the given angle so what what now is the initial side so looking at this illustration so let's say this is the angle that we have this angle right here these are the rays so this one here is what we call as the initial side of our angle so if the initial side is on the positive x-axis that means we can refer to this angle as an angle in its standard position now aside from the initial side we also have what we call as the terminal side so this is the other ray again we call it now as the terminal side now the rotation of the terminal side affects the sign of our angle so our angle can be positive or negative again it depends on the rotation of our terminal side so the counterclockwise rotation of our terminal side produces a positive angle while a clockwise rotation produces a negative angle so to clearly understand let's have this illustration so again this is our initial side this is the initial side and this is our terminal side so from here from the initial side since it moves in a counterclockwise rotation then this angle right here is positive let's say this is positive 45 degrees so again if the movement of your terminal side is counterclockwise that means the angle it produces is positive on the other hand if the movement of the terminal side is in clockwise rotation then it produces now a negative angle so for example again this is our initial side and this is our terminal side so as you can see from the initial side our terminal side moves on a clockwise rotation producing this angle right here which is now a negative angle maybe this one is negative 135 degrees so again if the terminal side moves on a counterclockwise rotation it produces a positive angle if it moves on a clockwise rotation then it produces a negative angle now which of the following angles is in standard position and is positive so i have here three figures and then we have to identify which among them is in standard position and at the same time has a positive sign so let's try to inspect all of the angles here so for letter a so we have here as you can see you have to look at the arrow so this will tell us what is the movement of our terminal side as well as which one is our initial side so looking at the arrow we know that this is our initial side and then this is our terminal side now since this arrow right here it moves on a clockwise rotation that means the angle here is positive now is it in standard position as what we know if the angle is in standard position the initial side should be on the positive x-axis so as you can see it's on a positive x-axis so that means letter a is an angle in standard position and also positive let's just try to check the rest of the angles here so for letter b it is somehow the same with letter a but looking at this arrow right here this arrow points to the terminal side which is in this case is this one and then the initial side is this one so as you can see it's not 
an angle in its standard position because the initial side is not on the positive x-axis. For letter C, it is an angle in standard position because the initial side is on the positive x-axis but then the rotation of the terminal side is clockwise that means this angle now is negative so among the three again the angle that is in standard position and is positive is with letter a now let's try to observe the angles given below what is common among the three angles so we have here negative 210 we have positive 150 degrees and then we have 510 degrees so if you will look at the figure of the angles here they are similar or they look the same okay so this all of them is have an initial side on the positive x-axis and then their terminal side is this one so they somehow look identical but if you will look at the arrows our guide here again this arrows uh, signifies the rotation of our terminal side so you will see that there is a difference so for the first one for negative 210 as you can see from the initial side the movement is clockwise that means it produces a negative angle which is 210 degrees on the second one the movement now is counterclockwise so that means it produces a positive angle which is 150 degrees and on the third one as you can see it completes a whole rotation and then going to this angle right here so it is counterclockwise so we have here 510 degrees now if you will look closely again at these three angles you will see that they have the same terminal side so that means we have here um similar similar angles or they look the same but technically they have different measurements now what do we call these kinds of angles so we call them as the coterminal angles so these are two angles in standard position that have a common terminal side so again they are called terminal angles so going back to the figure you will see that again they have the common terminal side okay so this one right here this one also on the other one so that will be our standard so if the angles are in standard position and they have a common terminal side then we will call them as coterminal angles now the coterminal angles of an angle theta are given by theta plus k times 360 degrees where k is a non-zero integer again this is a non-zero integer this refers to if you complete a whole rotation on the given circle Okay, so it depends now on the given figure to you. And in radians, the coterminal of an angle theta is given by theta plus k times 2 pi. So we can identify the different coterminal angles given this formula. Now let's find the coterminal angles of 45 degrees. So there will be a lot of choices for us, but let's just try to identify at least a three coterminal angles of um, 45 degree angle first that we can do is again remember our theta is a 45 degrees so first we can add 360 to this so that means um, it completes a whole rotation and then we're still adding 45 degree to it so we have theta plus k times 360 degrees again k refers to the number of rotations that you want for your angle so let's say it completes a whole rotation so that will be 45 for the theta plus k so let's add a whole rotation and then times 360 so we just have here 45 plus 360 degrees which is equal to 405 degrees so this first angle right here so this is a uh, first coterminal angle of um, 45 degrees now aside from adding a whole rotation we can also subtract a whole rotation to it okay or 
let's uh, think of it as if the rotation that happened is um, following a clockwise rotation. So we will have theta and then let's have minus k times 360 degrees. So theta is 45 again and then let's again subtract a whole rotation or let's uh, think of it as the rotation is going in a clockwise rotation so we have here 1 times 360 so this one is 45 minus 360 degrees which is equal to negative 315 degrees so the difference between 1 and 2 so for the first one we think of it as if the rotation that we did is um, counterclockwise and then for number two, the whole rotation that we did is clockwise. And then for the third one, oh, so as you notice with one and two, we just add and subtract one whole rotation. So for number three, we can add um, two full rotations for 45. So this will be theta again plus k times 360. So theta is 45. This time k is 2. 2 refers to the number of rotations that we did or we will do or consider. So 360. So 360 times 2. So we have 45 plus 720 degrees. So that will be equal to 765 degrees. So these are just the three samples of coterminal angles of 45 degree angle. Now, if we will look at the illustration, so we have here, so this is the first one, 405. Again, we add one whole rotation to 45 degrees. For negative 315 degrees, we subtract a whole rotation. And then for 765, we added two full rotations to 45 degrees. So again, that is how you identify coterminal angles. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about angles, angles in its standard position as well as coterminal angles and see you next time.